What's going on you guys, it's Cody Stack. Today we're back with another video. We're gonna be taking a tour around the entire state of Utah. We're gonna jump onto my computer right here and I'm gonna show you around the entire state. I'm gonna take you up north, show you what you need to know about the northern part of the state, the western side, the eastern side, and all the way down to the south. I'm gonna show you the major points where you might go on vacation, where you might go camping, where you might take the family for a trip. We're gonna talk about all these different points and just kind of give you a brief overview of the state and some of the things that you need to know about that particular. So before we jump in here, if you are thinking about making that move here to Utah, make sure to get in touch with me. I absolutely love it when you guys reach out and I can't wait to hear from you as well. My information is here on the screen. Make sure to call, text, or email me anytime. I'm always available. So whatever works for you works for me. So with that being said, let's jump right here into my computer and start taking a look around. Okay guys, so jumping right here into the computer, uh, we wanna start up at the north end of the state. So if you didn't know, let me zoom out here actually real quick. If you didn't know, Utah is kind of situated right here in the middle western part of the United States. So you, of course you got the east coast here, which is very green here on the map. And uh, as you move further west, you can see that it becomes much more of that tan or white color, which is actually showing you that, um, you know, there's a lot of desert out here. So it is kind of the desert. Uh, we're in the high desert specifically here in Utah. So you will see a lot more of a desert landscape as opposed to trees. But of course we do have the mountains and everything where there are trees. So we've got uh, Dixie National Forest, uh, Fish Lake, we've got Ashley National Forest over here. And this is kind of right where the uh, Wasatch Mountains run. So if we go up north, I'm gonna come up here and this is the first thing I wanna talk about. So at the very north end, you've got Bear Lake. This is a really popular boating lake that a lot of people like to go to. I've been there a number of times myself and it actually sits halfway on the Utah border and halfway on the Idaho side as well. So uh, a very, very nice lake. It does get a little bit cold. You know, it's on the colder side of the lakes, but it is a very fun lake. And there's a ton of people who go up there, go boating. There's a lot of cabins right on the lake. Uh, you can also go to these different cities, Garden City or Lake Town. Uh, and there's little beaches where you can just just take a tent and literally just go play in the water. You can do rentals, you can do anything like that. So that's a great place to go, uh, you know, have some fun on a weekend. It's probably about two and a half hours, uh, maybe three hours if you're a slow driver from Salt Lake City. So also looking here, you've got Logan. This is gonna be the biggest city here in Northern Utah. This is all considered Cache County. There is a school there, Utah State University, uh, which is very popular. So Logan is mostly kind of a university town. Um, also here in Cache County, they are known for like farming. They're known for dairy. A lot of cheese comes out of Cache County as well. So that's kind of what's going on over here. Coming over here to the left, you know, you've got a lot of these small towns. I've never even heard of these small towns, you know, Cedar Creek, Snowville, Blue Creek. I, to be honest, I've never even heard of them even though they're here uh, just gonna be small farming towns uh, you know people doing ranching uh, you know raising animals whatever just kind of stuff like that out here on the uh, northwest part of the state so as we come down, you've got the Great Salt Lake, which stretches all the way up here and all the way down here to Salt Lake City. So the Great Salt Lake is actually a massive lake, but unfortunately there's not much that you actually do with the lake. You know, it's kind of just there. The, the salinity, I think that's the word salinity, the, the salt content of the lake is so high that you, you really can't do anything. You know, you don't really take your boat there. Uh, I don't even know that they have fish there, so I don't think you can go fishing. Um, I, know, I know they've got like, um, you can go and catch like um, crabs and, and um, you know, little shrimp and stuff. But uh, with the exception of that, there's not really much going on at the Great Salt Lake. So coming down here, I-15, we're going to kind of stick here as our main point of reference. You're coming into Ogden. So Ogden is a great city. It's about an hour north of Salt Lake City. And there's a lot to do here. You know, Ogden's kind of traditionally been like a shipping town. I kind of look at it as more blue collar. Some people might have some a different opinion about that, but I kind of look at it as more, you know, blue collar as opposed to the white collar stuff, which is all further down south. What I mean by that is there just seems to be like more industrial type jobs, more shipping, more manufacturing, a lot of trucking companies, a lot of factories, you know, stuff like that here in the Ogden area. So really nice Nice part of town um, to live in Ogden. There is a university here as well, Weber State University, and there's also Snow Basin Ski Resort right here. So there is some skiing that you can do there if you'd like to. And uh, over here, you've got Eden which is an awesome city. Eden is probably one of the best mountain towns that we have here in Salt Lake, uh, in, in Utah, uh, with the exception of like Park City. Eden is probably your next best um, city if you're looking for that mountain type living. So Eden or Huntsville, which sit right here next to Pine View Reservoir. As we come into North Salt Lake, 
and Davis County. This whole area is gonna be considered Davis County. Some of the things here, you know, it's mostly suburban type living. There's not a lot going on. It's mostly just kind of your traditional suburban type, you know, houses, neighborhoods, stuff like that. We do have an amusement park there in Farmington. It's called Lagoon. Um, it's an awesome place. Spent a lot of time there growing up as well. So that's kind of what you're gonna find here. And as you come down into Bountiful, Woods Cross, North Salt Lake, this is probably only about 15, 20 minutes north of Salt Lake City and the downtown area. So this again is just a very close suburb um, really nice neighborhood and you know great place to live as well if we zoom out here I actually want to take you over to uh, the west out here so this is i-80 that comes all the way across it goes into Wendover which is right here on the border that's where everybody here in Utah goes to get their uh, you know go get their gambling on basically for a weekend uh, but you've got i-80 here and you know to be honest this is where the salt flats are other than that there's nothing out there I've driven this road probably at least 50 times and man there's literally like nothing out there it's uh it's pretty barren um, going from Salt Lake City to Wendover and then you know continuing on further east or excuse me west into California, um, you know, going through Nevada into California, there's not a lot out there. It's pretty barren, you know, it's going to be one of those drives uh, where there's not much going on. You've just got the salt flats where they do the land speed records, stuff like that. But with the exception of that, not much going on out there. I don't even think there's, you know, any towns or anything. It's just going to be like small stuff. So, um, <clears throat> Right here, you've got Tooele County. So you've got Tooele here on the south end. You've got Grantsville on the west end. And then you've got Erda and Stansbury Park kind of here on the north end. So this area right here is growing like crazy. Um, a lot of people will live out here because you get kind of that smaller town feel. And you can also get a lot more bang for your buck. You can get a brand new house here in Grantsville on a half acre, you know, like 3,500 square feet for about 450 grand. So you get a lot more bang for your buck out here. It's growing like crazy. And it's probably about a 30 to 45 minute drive here into Salt Lake city so if you don't mind the commute that's a good place to live where you can get um you know you're, you're definitely gonna get more house for your for your money so over here to the east of Salt Lake City, what I want to talk about here is uh, Park City. So this is going to be probably the most popular area if you're looking to get into the Wasatch Mountains, you know, for a day trip or a staycation or something like that. This is probably where you're going to be coming. Uh, looking at the map here, you've got a ton of different reservoirs. So if we come up here, you've got East Canyon, you've got Echo. Coming down, you've got Rockport. And then you've got, uh, I think this one's Deer Creek. Nope, that's Jordanelle. The next one is Deer Creek, a little bit further down right here. Um, so you've got a ton of reservoirs. This is where people take their boats. This is where they go fishing, where they go have a good time on any of these reservoirs out here. So of course you got Park City. And I wanted to just zoom in and show you the ski resorts here really quick. So Park City right here, I believe is actually the biggest ski resort in America as far as like acreage at least and uh, that kind of backs up so you've got deer valley park city this whole area here and then over here you've got solitude and brighton and you've got alta and snowbird and you can't actually like ski you know backcountry ski um you know kind of more backcountry cross country whatever um from these different resorts to each other but generally most people don't right so you're either going up little cottonwood canyon to get to these ski resorts you're going up big cottonwood canyon to get to solitude and brighton or you're coming up here on i-80 over here to get to Park City, Deer Valley area. So that's all, all of Park City, Kimball Junction right here. Uh, there's a lot of country clubs, different types of membership clubs up here as well that a lot of people are really interested in. So that's a great place to be if you're looking for that type of lifestyle. And if you do like just kind of that mountain type of living, but you wanna live a little bit further out, get a little bit more bang for your buck again compared to Park City, you might consider coming out here to Oakley, you know, Marion, Cam Camus, uh, or even Francis. So Camus is probably the most popular city out here. Um, it is growing like crazy there as well. And you can just drive up this road here and get right into the mountains here where you can do, you know, a lot of, um, you can do anything, hiking, backpacking, camping, you know, anything like that. So let's continue on further east. The thing I want to point out over here on the east side is Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area. This is an absolutely beautiful uh, reservoir uh, where, you know, it feeds into the Green River. And this whole area, you can see just all these little, you know, offshoots where they've got canyons. And you've just got these magnificent canyons, you know, mountains, everything like that. So you can go on your boat. You can go, you know, cruise around into these different little crevices. And um, you just got amazing sights all the way around. You can even see wildlife up on the hills, stuff like that. So it's a really cool place to be. Um, and actually there is also some uh, very famous fishing here in this area. They've got a ton of really great fish. I'm not into fishing myself, but I know that that's a very popular fishing area where you can catch some big fishes, big, big fishes, big fish. <laughs> um, <clears throat> moving down further south here, 
uh, coming into Vernal, uh, Vernal is uh, heavily like an oil uh, type town, oil and coal. So there's a lot of that going on out here in Vernal. And um, I just want to point this out here. The Green River kind of comes over here into Colorado and then just kind of makes its way down here all the way down to the southern end of the state. So we'll get there in a second, but that's kind of where uh, Flaming Gorge empties uh, from as they let the water go down uh, the river. So coming back here uh, to the central part of the state, we talked about Salt Lake. Uh, we talked about Salt Lake a lot here on this, uh, this channel, obviously. So we're gonna kind of just gloss over that a little bit here on the video, but I wanna come down here, you know, looking at this particular area, this is one thing that I talk about a lot. This little part of the mountain that sticks out right here is called Point of the Mountain. Some people call it South Mountain, and this is also where Suncrest is located right here. So this actually sticks out, and that's why this freeway, I-15, your main freeway here in the area, is gonna kind of come over here to the left and then cut back over here to the right. So that's what this area is called. Over here on the left side, you've got Eagle Mountain and Saratoga Springs, which are just absolutely exploding. Probably the fastest growing cities here in Utah. Um, maybe St. George is up there as well. Um, I, I'm sure it's probably a competition between these three areas, Saratoga Springs, Eagle Mountain, St. George, probably even Lehigh, throw that in there. Um, you know, just absolutely blowing up right now. So that's over here on the west side. You've got Utah Lake here, which again, I've talked about before. It's not really the lake you wanna go boating on or fishing on. They've got algae problems, unfortunately, in the lake, and it's just not very clean, it's not very deep. It's just not the best lake. If you're gonna go boating, you're gonna go fishing, you wanna come up here to the, the Northeast uh, to actually go uh, into these other reservoirs here. So coming down here, you've got uh, Lehigh, American Fork, <clears throat> And you've got Pleasant Grove, Linden, Orem, Provo, all the way down. This is the uh, Tech Corridor. Anytime somebody says, hey, Silicon Slopes or the Tech Corridor, basically that stretches from here in Draper at the very end of, at the very uh, south end of Salt Lake County, all the way down here into Provo um, and even probably a little bit beyond. So this is all the main Tech Corridor for uh, the industry here for that sector. And so I wanted to point that out. As you come down here, once you get past Spanish Fork, you know, this again is all very suburban type living. As you come down here, Payson's kind of a small town. It is growing like crazy um, just because it's fairly close to Provo and you get, you know, it's a lot cheaper. And um, <clears throat> you've also got Salem, you've got Spring Lake, Santa Quinn. I mean, all these different areas are just absolutely blowing up right now. There's a lot of development happening. There's a lot of new houses. So that could be something that might be interesting to you if you're looking for a little bit more bang for your buck and you want to live uh, out there in that area. So let's come over here to the west side of the state you can basically see that this whole area there's basically nothing going on you've got i-15 which comes down right here your other road here is state route 6 which takes you into delta um, there was a big power plant out there um, i believe they're actually shutting it down i can't remember um, or maybe they're just uh, maybe not shutting it down but they're uh, making, making some changes here but that's kind of the main industry here in, in delta but literally like out here there's basically nothing going on you don't need to know anything about that area let's just put it that way <laughs> so uh, the only people who are out there is, you know, Walter White and his in his camper type thing. So uh, coming over here to the east side of the state, we're going to look at this here. This is going to be a little bit more foresty, a little bit more mountain type living um, out here. The important thing that I want to point out here is that you're going to come up Spanish Fork Canyon. And you're going to take this road all the way down here into Price. Again, you know, out here they've got a lot of oil, a lot of coal, stuff like that. Um, just like up here in Vernal area, uh, Price is very much the same. These are all kind of like small towns, you know, not a lot of people live there. A lot of cabins, a lot of just... You small town type stuff um, but the important thing is that you come down this road here 191 it connects on to 70 and then you take 191 again and this actually brings you into Moab as well as the first of our uh, couple national parks here so this is a uh, national park arches national park and canyonlands down to the south and Moab sits right in the middle oops didn't mean to do that let's see if we can get zoomed in here a little bit on Moab <clears throat> So Moab, again, just growing like absolute crazy right now. There's a lot of mountain biking. There's a lot of people who take their bikes down there. Um, they do runs down there. A lot of people take their off-road vehicles, you know, do, go do rock crawling, stuff like that. This is the picturesque place for Red Rock. If you've ever seen Red Rock on TV or here on YouTube, that's probably where they're at is somewhere around the Moab area. So a lot of tourists there a lot of the people who live there locally work in the tourism industry um, and so a lot of people rolling into town to visit these different uh, national parks arches and canyon lands and then a lot of people coming down here to you know basically get out and play ride their bikes or go off-roading uh, in the hills there in that area so if we can keep coming down here <clears throat> 
let me zoom out zoom out a little bit so if you come continue down on moab you come down here you hit monticello you hit blanding you hit bluff a lot of this is going to be again just kind of that red rock type feel uh smaller towns here very touristy uh not a lot happening otherwise just mostly tourists hiking camping backpacking stuff like that um and then of course you got four corners down here that's kind of a popular place to be uh, you know to to take a trip and whatnot so um, this whole area, you know, not a lot happening, um, just national park type stuff, red rock stuff. As we come back here, I just want to kind of give you a reference point of where we're at. So we just came over here, uh, we were talking about Spanish Fork and then we came over here to Moab. I'm going to come down here and then we're going to work my way back over here. So this whole area here, this lake that you see here is Lake Powell. So Lake Powell is absolutely awesome. You've got Wawweep down here and I think you've got Bullfrog right here. Um, trying to remember but anyway uh, it's roughly in this area here um, these are just the two different uh, marinas there and so Lake Powell much like Flaming Gorge has all these little offshoots that are just absolutely gorgeous you know the water comes into these little canyons and this is where you see again those picturesque red rock walls of Lake Powell I've spent a lot of time here on this lake and it's absolutely some of my best memories are made here on this lake um, so definitely a fun place to go uh, to get to Bullfrog it's probably about oh, Bullfrog is up here that's right, it's a little bit further up. Um, to get to Bullfrog, it's probably about four and a half, maybe five hours. If you're coming down here to Page, Arizona or Waweep, uh, where the two marinas there, you're probably looking at like six hours to get to that area. So still not too bad of a drive, but it is definitely gonna be a thing where you go for you know three, four, five days, maybe even a week or two um, to get to that area. So. Uh, this whole, you know, canyon, I mean, it's huge. You can see how far this stretches. It's got to be, I don't know, 50, 100 miles at least. Um, this whole area here is just absolutely massive. So very gorgeous area, very gorgeous. Um, you've got another bunch of national parks here. Grand Staircase Escalani. You've got Bryce Canyon. You've got Capitol Reef. Uh, coming down here, you've got Zion. I mean, just look at all these different national parks here. It's absolutely, absolutely crazy. Uh, Grand Canyon is just down here on the Arizona border. Um, so it's just nuts how many different national parks we have here. And this brings so many people into the area. So again, this area, uh, this whole section here is mostly kind of like small town, uh, very touristy type stuff. And uh, the thing I want to point out down here in the south end of the state is st george area so this is all considered washington county you've got st george washington santa clara uh, ivans you've got hurricane up here it is pronounced hurricane i know it says hurricane but it's pronounced hurricane um so uh this is the uh this is the whole part the whole south part this area is exploding right now as well i mean the population increase they're expecting here in this area it's got to be at least double maybe even triple over the next 30 40 years um so it's just growing like crazy uh it's really beautiful down there they don't get a lot of snow i don't think they ever get snow other than just maybe a skiff you know but um it does get hot you know the summer you're looking at 105 you know 108 that's kind of their general temperature there so it's very much like las vegas or phoenix arizona not quite as hot just because the elevation is a little bit higher but it does get very hot there um, so you get nicer winters a lot of people from salt lake will go down to st george for the winter just because the weather's a little bit more mild down there especially in the winter it's really nice but it does get hot in the summer so that's a great area if you're looking to move to that area let me know i've got contacts down there who can help you make that move as well and i want to kind of come back up here to the central part of the state as we wrap this video up. So coming up here, this is I-15, your main corridor that goes all the way up here north into Salt Lake. So again, a lot of this is mostly just kind of travel town uh, where you're gonna find you know, a lot of small towns, um, a lot of farming, a lot of ranchers, stuff like that. So anyways, guys, with that, that wraps up our video here. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up here on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. If you wanna learn more about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play here along the Wasatch Front or anywhere here in the state of Utah, make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you get notified when I actually release new videos that come out roughly every week or so. Um, also, if you're thinking about making that move here, make sure to get in touch with me. Call me, text me, email me anytime. Absolutely love it when you guys reach out and I can't wait to hear from you as well to help you make that relocation here to the beautiful state of Utah that much easier. With that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.